Greetings, folks. Today we're going to be having a little fun with some kit bashing and putting together an old little Space Marine miniature. This particular old little guy came out right before Primaris, which they're now deemed as Tactical Marines. For this particular one, I'm going to be kind of building them together in my own vision of a Death Guard, uh, pre horse heresy, of course. This one in particular will use like certain parts from them, like armaments and little vent thing I'm going to be putting on the chest. And this piece right here is a little... Here, let me bring that... Ooh. There we go. This right here is an admech head, which is perfect for what I'm going to be doing here, because it fits right into the tactical marine body and looks pretty proportionate. Let's give it this nice... Uh, like steampunky sort of breath respirator look that I'm going for for this particular guy. He's going to go straight into my Death Guard army. He'll look a little out of place because he doesn't look like he's infested by postules and rotting flesh and tentacles and random things that Death Guard are known for here and there. So, starting things off, I already sanded everything and prepped it for this creation. So I'm going to do here is use my Citadel plastic glue. And I'm going to start putting them together. So first we're going to start off here. I want him to be sort of facing forward. Turned a little bit so that his right leg is forward. Matching with the body's movement. Same thing with the head. I'm going to position it in a way to where he is moving towards wherever he wants to go. Looking in that direction as we currently see there. Then I want to connect these two together, but I'm going to need some handy dandy clippers. These are just standard hobby clippers you can get from like GW or any other hobby store. I actually got these in a little kit that came with a smaller one, a X-Acto knife, and some sanders. And those particular ones are used for Gundams, which actually works really well for Warhammer. And it's super cheap. I'll put a description... Uh, a description? I'll put a link in the description below, so you can find the little kit that I bought for myself. It's super cheap. Like literally $8 for plastic shears, an X-Acto knife, replacements for the knives, and a bunch of sanders. Hand sanders. I'm just putting this arm together so that way I can paint it easier just let me make sure it fits on there right perfect and I dropped the arm Yay. so we're just gonna let that dry over here we'll paint it up later for this side we're going to glue the shoulder shoulders pauldron right here shoulder plate it's pretty much what it is I'm do a little bit of writing here, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this breathing apparatus right here, I like the look of it. But what I'm actually going to do is apply this. Oh, I keep dropping it. I keep dropping it. My hands are not cooperating with me today. <laughs> this particular piece right here came from a backpack of a Chaos Space Marine. I'm going to be using it as a sort of breathing apparatus extension for my guy right here. I'm going to be putting it up somewhere around here on the chest or create a sort of collar. Put it on the crotch maybe. No. <laughs> or I could. I could put it on the shoulder here. So I want to include this somewhere. Or I could just slap it on the back of this power pack and call it good. Just doing a little bit of dry fitting here, seeing if it'll work. Well, it could, it would just look a little weird. Let's see if I touch it there. And slap that on above. Oh yeah, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. 
Dry fitting pretty much means you're putting things together, holding them in place, and seeing if it will work well together in the spots you want them to be. So far that's working. Alright. I think I'll just put it on the chest. Okay. Probably should have left the head off if I was going to go start snipping things on the chest. <laughs> Alright. So first I'm going to be cutting that off. Sweet. This leftover right here I'll actually be using for something else at a later date. It's crunched, which is fine. I'll put that in as a filler for some Death Guard somewhere. Okay, now that that's snipped off, let's see how well this fits on now. Fits on pretty smashingly. We're just going to need to cut off some more with our X-Acto knife. Actually, you just use these here to begin where we want it to be cut off. I want it to be as thin as possible so that way I can attach it to the chest without it looking out of place. Yee. Usually when you're using exacto knives you do not want them going to your flesh because one, that is bad, and two, you don't know where it's been. Well, obviously you do know where it's been, but um you don't necessarily want it jabbing into your skin, now do you? And yet here I am, continuing continuing to use my fingers with a sharp blade. Snip off that part right there. Perfect. Then I'm going to sand the crap out of it. <laughs> but not with that sander, I need something smaller. I use my metal filer here, that also came in that same kit. Not sponsored by the way, I don't even know the distributor. I just bought it off of Amazon. So we're just gonna sand that down to where it'll fit nicely on our little guy. Yeah, the Admic heads, as you see here, work pretty well on these little tactical space marines. I'm not sure how well they fit on the newer... Uh, oh, I literally forgot what they called. Primaris space marines. I think they might fit pretty well, but it'll look a little awkward. You could probably use it as a placement for a non-helmeted guy or like a tech priest or something. Not a tech priest, uh... No, oh, I guess. I don't know. Alright, I'm just gonna get a piece of towel here. Just wipe off that excess. Get some wet. Now, getting it wet will help not only clean it better. Soften it a little bit too once we apply it with the glue. It just helps get rid of all these little nibs here and there. Now that is done, it should go onto the chest just fine. Just about. I think I need to sand down that top edge more.
Ah, oh, yes, sanding. Don't you all love it? There we go. Now it goes on better. Okay. Now that little part is done for my kit bash here. I'm going to apply it. First, I need to move all this out of the way so I don't stab my hands. That won't be fun. Okay. Some glue on that biatch. Put it on. Attempt to put it on without me dragging it across the whole thing. It's a fairly simple look that I'm going for here. Just want to give it a sort of breathing apparatus, like extension, kind of like a little Darth Vader get up. Because he's Death Guard, they need those kind of applications for their breathing because they live in a very toxified area to the point where if you try going in there, you're going to suffocate from toxins and whatever other vile things you smell. Nice. Perfect. You can still see it. Let me get the arm over here. I may have got the wrong arm. Nope. That's the right arm. It just looks a little wonky. Cool. You know, I could just have him with one arm holding the weapon and then another doing whatever. Yeah, I'll try that out. Let me look at my little bit box here. See if there's something of use to us. My bit box currently off camera because it's kind of big and there's a lot of bits. There we are. There's a little arm we could put of to use. Some more pieces for me to use for this little guy. The reason why I'm decking him out is because he's going to my army, and also I just wanted to show uh, show you guys a little bit of a viewer's perspective on kit bashing. Kit bashing pretty much means you are bashing your kit. <laughs> uh, yeah, it pretty much means you are just finding the parts you want from certain kits, other kits, snipping stuff off like what I did earlier putting things together, and really overall just making something that's more personal. Like you want a more personalized look for yourself to where it reflects what you like to, what you like to look at, what you want to create, pretty much anything really. Shoot, for my kit bashings, I have actually used uh, models and model pieces from different different publishers instead of just Games Workshop. I used stuff from Dungeons and Dragons and used it for a kit bash of a Demon Prince for my corn army, which is which works pretty dandy. If I say so. May I snip off parts, put them together, fix up things. Ah oh, here we are. This'll do. That'll work great as a little knife. Because the Death Guard use a bunch of knives. Kn knives. 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 There we go. Use a bunch of knives. So, get my little cutting tools again. This is an arm actually snipped off from a uh, Reaver. 
that I made because that reverb became a possessed space marine. <laughs> and so he did not need this hand. However, much like with kit bashing, any bits you have extra, you can keep them on hand for future projects. Or if you want to just sell them in case other people need those bits. Or some things that some people do, you can actually use some of this uh, glue I have here and melt them down and turn it into a sort of filler for when you have miniatures with giant freaking cracks in them. That sometimes happens. And you don't want to go buying liquid green stuff all the time. Because this particular glue isn't entirely like... It's not exactly a glue. It functions like a glue where it uh, bonds two things together. But in this case, it's actually melting both of the applicated sections of the plastic you're using and it melts them together to create an unbreakable bond. Where, where whatever uh, compounds it has that are um, acidic to the plastic, meaning that it'll just help melt it together, will melt both of the sections in a small way to where when it starts to dry, it welds them together. Similar to how you will heat treat a sword or a blade and something if you're trying to make that. I don't know what you do on your pastime. Wow, that's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> Jeez. This little guy's ready to go. He's getting ready for that heresy. <laughs> Alright. Just put some glue on the shoulder, slap this pauldron on, drop that pauldron, <laughs> now we put it on. So this here is just giving you an idea on how to kit bash. In this particular video, not only am I going to be kit bashing, but I'm going to show you how to paint this in a particular color scheme. I'm not sure why I have this extra gun here, so I'm just going to throw it in that little box. Now that that little arm's applied, I'm going to start working on my additional details. These little grenades here. Not sure what kind of specialist this guy would be in the uh, Death Guard army. I got no clue. He might be like a sergeant or something, I don't know. But if he's working for Chaos, he'd be a champion. A very small champion. <laughs> but when it comes to the ruling set, he is equipped with a bubotic blade and a bolter. So that works out. And if you're using him as a space marine, it's just a bolter. And a Knife, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know. I prefer my Chaos Space Marines. I know a lot more about what they do than Space Marines, I'll tell you that. Even though I have Alpha Legion, who has a bunch of random Space Marines from various boxes I bought, that I just kind of painted them up, sipped off a few hands, and gave them some Chaos Weapons. But yeah, the reason why I'm doing this particular one, though, is because I really enjoy Death Guard's whole look and aesthetic. And I kind of wanted to make it a little more personalized by using a bunch of parts from my little box here of old tactical marines. Pretty much this is one of two of the last ones I had, so I might as well kind of give them a good little treatment. I'll probably do the same kit bash for the other one, or maybe I'll make them for Alpha Legion. I don't know. I see it's a pretty good kit bash going on so far. Does he have too many grenades? Yeah. Do I care? No. It looks pretty cool. 
And I just realized those are upside down. Just kind of. All right, there we go. Let's fix that one up here. Hmm. Oh, he's kind of put together. I'm not sure how I feel about all those grenades now that I look at it. Yeah, it's fine. I'll put this back here. Yeah, this guy is decked out. He's ready to go. He has lived through plenty. No, oh, this wasn't kill team. I guess he'd be a veteran. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be interesting. Okay. And I drop all those, of course. And I drop them again. Hey, I should be using tweezers now that I think about it. But oh, they're big enough where I could just put them in somewhere and call it good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to drop those ones. Put these more downward. Move this over here. Alright, much better. Same with this side. Drop that. Push it downward. <coughs> Just dry fit that real quick. Nice. Okay. After a few minutes of putting things together, Snipping stuff, sanding, ripping, and tearing. We call this kit bash done. This is my little custom one of a kind mini marine for my death guard squad. Well, army, I should say. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you guys a little look on how kit bashing works and uh, showing showing you that saving extra parts that you have from various kits and putting them together, you could really personalize your own stuff. Like this was the second to last little tactical marine I had left over, so it was pretty pretty nice putting them together and see what would happen. I kind of like the look, the admech head and that little chest piece in the front really put it together for me. Same with this giant freaking knife. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, pretty much don't be afraid to kit bash for your own projects. It really, really makes you feel more personalized with the things you've bought and are creating. Or if you have a bunch of extra parts and you don't really want to use them for kit bashing, you could just sell them on eBay or something. People will buy them for their own projects. Um, other than that, I hope you folks enjoy this video and stay tuned for the next video when I paint up this little guy I just built together. Yeah, here we are. If you have any other questions or want some more intel on kit bashing, uh, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below. Besides that, you folks have a great day and take care.